Hello there. Um, let's talk about Gotham a little bit, shall we? I've been wanting to talk about this for a while, but I figured I'd watch a few more episodes before I get into the to a synopsis or a review of it. And now it's been a few episodes. Here I am talking about it, so let's get to it. For those who don't know, Gotham is a television series on Fox that's um, basically a prequel to everything Batman-y. Uh, if you've seen the trailers or the commercials, you'll notice it said before Batman or before this villain or that villain, there was Gotham. So, don't expect to see Batman in this anytime soon. It's essentially a prequel. Now, who they do have is a familiar face or a name, uh, Jim Gordon. So, and this time he's, well, this Jim Gordon is played by Ben McKenzie. You know Ben McKenzie from, like, the OC days, you know, Ryan Atwood, bad boy type of guy. Well, that or anyone who watches Southland, you would know him. But yeah, he's the main character in this, and right beside him is his uh, other buddy cop, uh, Harvey Bullock, who's played by Danalo, you know, from Grounded for Life. So, they're essentially, it's essentially a story of the good cop, the good, true, honest cop in Jim Gordon versus the cynical, hardened veteran in Harvey Bullock. And from episode to episode, they go at it over and over over how to save Gotham or deal with certain cases or whatever. Now, with uh, with Bullock's character, you just know that he kind of isn't all that interested in some of this because he's been in Gotham a while and he accepts that it's a corrupt shithole. But you have uh, Jim Gordon on the other end trying to not be so much of a shithole and trying to do some good in the world. And besides that, let's also get back to the Batman thing. From the very first episode, the very first scene you see is Bruce Wayne as the young kid with his parents Thomas and Martha Wayne going through a dark alley after the opera, and you pretty much know what happens. They get shot, and that's pretty much it. And Bruce Wayne is left there standing and crying and traumatized and whatever. So, that's a pretty predictable start. I mean, you, we all know the story of the Waynes and what happened to them, and Jim Gordon comes and says he's going to promise, he promises he's going to find out who did this to them. Now, over the course of the last four episodes, well, the first four episodes, rather, you have wide variety of other characters. You have Fish Mooney, Jada Pinkett Smith's character. I will say that she is very nice to look at in the series. A lot of people say she's like she has that Earth the Kitten vibe towards her. But beyond that, she's like an underground type of criminal who owns her own restaurant or whatever and has all connections well, connections being through the two big mob bosses in the series. Uh the Carmi the Falcones and the Moroni family. Now, if anyone knows mob families and fights, they tend to get ugly. Then you have my, uh, they have another big character who's Oswald Cobblepot. Honestly, right off the bat, I can tell you right there, he is my other, he's my second favorite character in the series. I like him a lot, I just say that for what it's worth. If you know Oswald Cobblepot, you know he's soon to be the Penguin, and every now and then someone will leave a comment and say that, hey, you know when you walk, you kind of look like a Penguin? He apparently doesn't like that, and, um bad things happen. Every now and then, I'm noticing, like, they just keep having these names. They wrote these, they write these names off throughout the series, like, uh, Oswald Cobblepot, Jim Gordon, Edward Nigma or Ed Nigma, who everyone knows as the Riddler, which is funny because the Riddler, or Ed, sorry, he works at, he works at the Gotham City Police Station, and he just goes around talking and riddles and like, what's the paradox? What's this a paradox? What's that a paradox? Like, okay, he's the Riddler. We get it. He's going to be the Riddler. At this point, I'm wondering, okay, where does the series go from here? Like, what do they do with these characters? Like, these soon-to-be villains. I mean, I know what they're going to be in the future, but what do they do with them as they develop? I mean, they can't just be stand-ins or whatever. Or, well, they're side characters. We know that. But they can't. They just can't be, like, there for the sake of being there. I mean, they need to have a purpose in the plot. But, and, well, Oswald or Penguin, whichever you prefer, he does have a pretty good purpose in the plot. He's, um, he was supposed to die in the first episode, but Jim Gordon, Jim Gordon, um, decides not to kill him, and then he just tells him not to come back to Gotham, and he comes back a couple episodes later. Okay, that was kind of quick. That was kind of quick for him. For the most part, well, another thing about the episodes is the stories. I mean, it does sound like a typical cop city in the cop drama, or cops in the city drama, you know, something happens at the start of the episode, someone gets shot, murdered, killed, or kidnapped, or whatever, and you have the intro title, and then you have drama between the cops, so there's some really 
basically, there's some really basic things about these episodes. Uh, one of the episodes was called The Balloon Man. A guy gets, where the guy walks around as a vigilante, or that's what he says, and he kills corrupt people by tying them to hot air balloons and they just float up in the sky and die later. I've never seen that before. I've never heard that in my entire life. It's a new concept to me, but... But, but it just seems like... Okay, uh, that's a little strange. That's actually really... That's actually kind of... That's actually really strange. But... Well, yeah, it's, it's just strange. That's basically all I can say about it. I mean, I like the episode. I still watched it, but... That's what she came up with? Okay, I don't think anyone does a bad acting job in this for what it's worth. I'd like to point that out. No one, there's no bad actors in here. Um, I will say that uh, Barbara Gordon, um, she doesn't really do much in the series so far. I mean, oh, it is only four episodes and soon to be five. But well, maybe things will pick up later on in a, another episode. Is it going to be like Smallville, where things um, get predict, well, not predictable. Things start picking up as the seasons go on, as time goes on. So it's like, oh my god, this is really intense. And then the end of the series, Bruce Wayne finally turns into Batman. I don't know. Speaking of which, let me get into the Batman thing. For, in every episode so far, in the midst of all the crime and drama, there's Bruce as a young kid, and Alfred in the Wayne Mansion, just hanging around, and Bruce is just doing things at random. At one point, he's like hanging, putting his hand over a candle and trying to like, test himself if he feels fear or pain or something, like, hmm, I kind of like the dynamic with him, like, having a little Bruce that night, we didn't forget about him as a character, and every now and then, Jim Gordon will go up to the house and talk to him about something, now let me talk about Alfred, I like this Alfred a little bit, I mean, he, he is a bit uptight every now and then, but he's kind of fun to hang around, yeah, he's not the same Alfred as Michael Caine's Alfred, but, I still like this character, all in all, it's not a Batman-centric series, it's, uh, Jim Gordon centric series, or Jim Gordon and Harvey Bullock. It's basically the two cops, and with Batman and other villains and crime in between. That takes place in Gotham. Or rather, New York, because some of you can easily see the Brooklyn Bridge in one of these background shots. So, overall, I like this series. I can't wait to see what else is going on. I'm still going to tune into it. I just think some things are weird, but maybe things will start picking up as, as episodes go on, but for the moment, I think it's a thumbs up for me. So, Gotham, what do you all think? I assume you've all seen it. Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Do you think more can be done with it? However you feel, please leave a comment. Tell me all your feelings. Tell me what else you think. And while you're at it, why not see what other reviews I have in store? Be sure to check out my Flash review, which is the last television series I reviewed. Why not subscribe while you're at it to see what else I have in store for you?